Okay, everybody, it's me, Bunk, and it's look who it is. No, not a bee. Anyway, <laughs> moving on from my, my, my PTSD. Um, okay. Someone commented on one of my videos that the audio was off for, I think, Magus Bride. I took a look at it. Yeah, it seemed a little off. But it doesn't seem like that was the case for the other video I just uploaded or Kaizen. So I think I'm in the clear with that. Anyway, 2023 is almost over. According to this video right now. <laughs> and virtually why I'm recording this. Um... We're going into the winter. Now, because of... <clears throat> I have decided that I'm not going to go crazy here. As I said before, the Jujutsu Kaisen gave me PTSD. Shibuya... Literally. Two characters that I cared about died. For anyone who watched. Spoiled alert. Anyway. I'm going to review, but it's not going to be like how I did last season. See, the problem with last season was I didn't realize that Kaizen and Magus Bribe came out the same day. So it kind of eh, scrunched me a bit. So instead, I'm going in a different direction. I am going to review episodic reviews of two shows. However, it's not going to be like it was before. These two shows are going to be on different days. So, my scheduling will be a lot easier to deal with. Now, I got the Anna chart lineup here. There's some good noticeables uh, that I will watch before I not review. So, Leveling, Classroom of the Elite Season 3, um... Moonlight fantasy, but really, I'm focusing on specifically two animes that I'm reviewing. One is what I'm about to say, which is Marshall. <laughs> I know everyone kind of saw this anime um, from April in the spring, and when I first saw it, I had to stop myself and say, what? It, it was a little bit too ridiculous, but here's the thing. That's what I need now. I don't need deaths and people getting killed and mass genocide like I got with Kaiser. I need something dimmer. Something that's not going to kill me over PTSD things. Something silly. And Marshall is right up there. Now, for anyone who's seen season one, it's 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 unbelievable to really fathom because this guy, the whole the premise is kind of sort of like Harry Potter, but it's fixated on the fact that this guy, Mosh, can't use magic, so it's sort of like the whole. Asta thing, but a little bit better because he can't use magic, but he trains like a beast and he uses his pure strength to like, you know, but when I saw it season one, I was like, holy crap. <laughs> he was doing things. I was like, whoa. So this is definitely something I can get behind in reviewing. It comes out on Saturday, so my schedule won't be encumbered by anything. By work or anything of those matters. So I'm definitely going to review this. That's the first one. That comes out mm, a couple of days from now, I think. It comes out in like six days. So I'm thinking that's probably Saturday. Next Saturday. Now, it's not the only one. There, there were two that I was mulling over. One comes out on Thursday. And one comes out on Friday. Now, the two are, both are going to be on Crunchyroll and God knows where else. The two specifically I'm talking about is Witch to Beast and Metallic Rouge. 
Now, Metallic Rouge is kind of like the dealing with androids, and it's sci-fi, and that looks all good and well for Bones, but because it comes out on Thursdays, I'm still hesitant to jump in. So for that one, I might do an enemy search review. Possibly. As far as the other show, Witch and Beast, this is interesting. Now, I was watching a few other animes this season. One anime season, this particular, was this Kingdom of Ruin. I totally just, I could not get past the fourth episode. It was getting really stupid. I'm sorry. But this one is a little bit different because this is just like something to do with this female character. Which is a good change. Good to have her on it. She gets supposedly cursed by a witch, and she goes around with this guy with a coffin. So, that's interesting. And, you know, they go around, and the animation looked pretty good. I thought it looked pretty good from the trailer aspect of it. And it does has interest me, it interests me to a point. And with me reviewing Marshall, I think this would be a nice complimentary one. So basically, now that one doesn't come out next week, comes out the following week. Um, so it's not this coming Friday, it's the following Friday. So it's going to be those two, Witch and Beast, the Beast, and uh, Marshall. Now, there are some other series that are coming out that I took a look at, and, you know, they're, they're, there's a few that are, are decent. Um... There's Hokkaido Girls, there's uh, uh, Blue Exorcist, there's uh, there's this Chain Soldier done. That's on High Dive, though, and I don't think I can review that. Then there's the Dungeon. Dungeons are delicious. you know. But most of these and all of these here and there, I will watch. I might dabble in a few anime series reviews, but nothing too crazy. I would think Metallic Rouge... Hokkaido Girls. There's also this other isekai that has to do with healing. Kind of interesting. But overall, that's what I'm going to do for the winter. Spring is a different story. I don't know what's going on with the spring. I'm believing, hoping, that Mr. Ichigo comes back in the spring. So I'll have Bleach to review. If not, I'll have to figure something out. Because right now, the spring doesn't really have anything on there. It's got a few anime titles coming out, but nothing really serious. But that's all I really want to tell you guys. So, for the winter, you can expect those two shows. One on Friday, one on Saturday. One on Saturday, though. Oh, man. It's, it's going to be a lot of hijinks. It's going to be a lot of insane feats of just... What the hell? Like, now, from my understanding, for just a little tidbit to end this video on, for Marshall, the season is going to focus around the Divine Visionary Candidate Exam. And we're going to get a lot of characters, a lot of introductions of a new characters coming in that are basically the cream, the cream of the crop for the, the magic hierarchy in, in the, the universe of Marshall. So this should be interesting to see. We'll see how Mosh does. We'll see how the other characters do. Should be a good, fun time. But that's what I'm doing. Now, I should mention one thing. I know I did a video about, a bit back about it. Dan to Dan. Well, Dan to Dan has an anime adaptation coming out in the fall. Most likely, I am reviewing this in the fall. So you can look forward to that. So we go from Kaizen to Dan to Dan. And let me tell you something. Dan to Dan? Woo! Crazy show. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. We're going to give you the two tidbits on for the winter anime. Those are the two shows I'm going to do episode reviews on. Metallic Rouge, like I said, will probably get anime series review. Maybe Hokkaido Girls and some others I'll do anime series reviews. But I gotta wait and see.
because it's hard to do them, you know, because it's got to, you know, with my work schedule and everything. But this is Bob Kai 922. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.